Hey guys, DC Break here with another edition of Coffee Break. I'm here with a very good friend of mine and she's gonna sit in and ask your questions, Miss Julie Kagawa. Hello. So DC, I have some questions for you from your readers. The first question is from Jenny. It is, how and when did you know you wanted to be a writer? Um, actually in second grade. My wonderful teacher, Mrs. Gardner, shout out to Mrs. Gardner. Um, she kept everything that I wrote all second grade year. My poems, my short stories, and at the end of the school year, she uh, she gave them back to me in a scrapbook. And on the front of it, she put a little note that she expected to see me on the New York Times bestseller list one day. So, still haven't gotten there yet, Miss Gardner, but keep watching because we're heading there. Awesome. So the second question comes from EJ, and it is, do your characters just come to you, and what do you do if you get writer's block? The dreaded writer's block. Well, what was the first part? <laughs> Sorry, EJ. <laughs> do your characters just, just come, come to you? you? Oh, okay. Um, you know, for coffee, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Well, that we can't have much of now. But, um, it depends on the character. Usually, there will be one or two of the main characters that I'm inspired to write. I'll see something that just kind of gets these images going in my head, and I'll get a couple of characters going, and the rest just kind of build themselves around those initial characters. Um, writer's Block, my trade secret, John Waters films, every time. Seriously, I, I'll, I'll have to try that. It works. It really does. <laughs> All right, and the last question is from Sasha, and it is, who is your favorite character to write, and why? Right now, my favorite character to write is Leo. Uh, Leo. Because we're evil. Yes. Yeah. We like being very evil. Leo has gone through so many changes. You, you guys haven't got to read it yet, but trust me, he's gone through a lot of changes in Pixie Dust. And so there's a lot of meat on the bones of that character. And there's so many layers coming out in him right now that it just really is a big thrill for me to write because I know you guys are going to when this book comes out. Your tears feed our news. <laughs> um, but yeah, currently he, he is my favorite, but of course I also have my soft spots for, for Jade and then in the Guardian series of uh, Jake and Lilith because I love my dad. So, is that my question? Alright, and I'm going to turn it over to Julie now and she's going to tell you guys about her releases that are coming up very soon. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right um, well, if you didn't know, I'm the author of the Iron Face series, and um, my second uh, Iron Face series is going to release uh, this October. It's called Call of the Forgotten, The Lost Prince, and that one will star Ethan Chase, who is Megan's younger brother, and his adventures um, in the fairy world. And then next year, um, April, I believe, is The Eternity Cure, which is the second book in the uh, Blood of Eden, the Immortal Rules series. So be on the lookout for those, and I'll turn you back to DC. All right, so that's it for Coffee Break. Even though we're not at Starbucks today, we are at the Dead Bat. This is DC Grace. And Julie Pagala. Signing off. See you.